Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, if you're new to my channel, hey welcome, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you're back, as always, welcome back. Today I am here with a very highly requested video that I am really excited to get to share with all of you. And this is an updated pen stash video. So this is just what you're seeing here, just a really tiny portion of my entire diamond painting pen collection. Um, I've been diamond painting for close to two years now, and I discovered my love of diamond painting pens pretty early on. And um, let's just say that it is every bit as much of the hobby as as the hobby of diamond painting itself. That's what that's what a lot of us tend to say about actually collecting the thing, right? <laughs> now let's remember, <laughs> what is etiquette for stash videos? There's no judgment. <laughs> we love what we love and we like to collect what we like to collect. So I'm really thrilled that I get to share with you all um, my diamond painting collection that showcases pens from a huge variety of different pen turners absolutely amazing craftsmanship in the crafting community and please don't worry I'm going to let you know where every single one of these pens came from and I'm going to link to the shops below as well as any and all social media platforms that these pen turners have some of them sell through Etsy some of them sell through Facebook groups some of them have their own dedicated website so um be sure to check below in the description box. Like I said, I'm going to link to absolutely all of these. If I do happen to miss any particular links, like if you are one of these pen turners and you have a dedicated Facebook group or something that I missed, feel free to leave a comment below or send me a message and I'll be sure to edit the description and add that for you guys. I also want to let you guys know up front that for many, many, many pen turners, uh, they they don't necessarily constantly stock all of the same blanks. So just because you're seeing a particular pen style or pen blank in this video does not necessarily mean that that exact blank and or turning is going to be available. Um, it's kind of just the name of the game because there's so many different uh, people that create pen blanks as well. So keep that in mind. Um, like I said, this is a collection that I've been amassing for almost two years now. So it's, it's, this isn't something that happened overnight. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to try to break this up into, um, segments of just, okay, these are all from one turner. These are all from one turner. And yes, if you are curious at the end of this video, I will make sure to include all of the pens in frame. Somehow, I'm gonna have to get really creative with it, but I will find a way just for you guys. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So first up, this is one of my very favorite pen turners that is out there. They make incredible pens and I also consider them to be very dear friends. This is my collection from Lazy River Wood Turning. Lazy River is one of those shops that does sell out very, very quickly. Be sure to follow them on Instagram for the most up-to-date info as far as when the next their next drop is happening and previews of pens that'll be in that drop. And of course, uh, be ready with those fast fingers because my goodness, they sell out quickly. So this first pen is rose gold. Crazy, amazing amount of sparkle. And then this is a hybrid that I had picked up relatively early on. I love hybrids. I'm a sucker for an asymmetrical hybrid, but I loved the hints of pink and blue in this one. Very lightweight. Uh, this, now these all have names. I am embarrassed to say that I don't remember most of them. I think this one was raspberry sorbet. I just love the vibrant colors in it. And then I believe this is from a cocoon blank from their liquid art series. Again, love the pink and the blue. A lot of these are missing multi-placers because I tend to use my metal multi-placer tips and I just swap those out between pens. I don't have enough to have one for every single pen. Uh, this is, I believe, the oil slick blank that has just that amazing rainbow effect. This was quite the indulgence. I was so excited to snag this one. It's a Christmas tree, you guys. I love it. It perfectly matched the little helper's kit that I worked on this past December. I, this was my very, was this, I believe this was my very first pen from Lazy River Wood Turning. I don't know if it was from their first or their second drop, but it's got this amazing seafoam effect. 
This is one of the few bloom blanks that Lazy River has turned. You see the really pretty purple flowers in it. I love this one. It's so incredibly shiny and really incredibly lightweight. I haven't used this one in a while. I should do that. <laughs> this one I believe is called Pink Tectonic. I love the cracks of pink in it so much. Lazy River doesn't have like a really set set of turning styles they just kind of let the blank speak to them and i love it i love it they're works of art this is a pen blank that matt poured and is based on one of the old masters paintings that uh, we did for summer with the masters this was a friend blank this has a lot of different colors from some of my de very dear friends in it again i believe matt poured this one I went through a honeycomb phase. I really love honeycomb pens. This one is sparkly purple honeycomb. And then look at that shock of pink down there. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. This is probably my favorite pen in my entire collection has been for some time. This is a pen that Matt um, turned as part of the friendship or customer appreciation series and uh, he turned to this one and he turned a few of this same blank and named it dreaming of diamonds and washi so love the abalone so much and the hints of pink in it this pen um was essentially a gift for me from my friend Jacqueline <laughs> I love the colors Gosh, this is also one of my favorite pens. This is one of those that the camera just doesn't do it justice because it has that amazing gold sparkle in it. Uh, this was based on the kit, the main kit that I worked on for Summer with the Masters, Miranda the Tempest. Matt poured and created this blank and we got to give a couple of uh, other pens in this blank away as part of the event. And then last but not least, this is a mini, and this one is inspired by the Joker from the Batman series. It's actually very comfortable to hold even though it's a mini. <laughs> so that's my Lazy River Wood Turning collection. I'm gonna shift these off to the side and pull out the next set of pens to show you. This next set of pens, you might recognize by seeing some of these cinnamon swirls in right off the bat. This is my set of pens from C'est Plus Beau Tour. They're located in France, uh, but shipping to the United States is super reasonable. Their pens sell out incredibly quickly. They do offer uh, a couple of different ways to buy pens. They have both uh, Etsy drops that are just fast fingers, and those sell out, like I said, incredibly quickly. Like less than a minute. They also, though, do uh, some drops in their Facebook group where it's a right to buy, where you can enter for pens that you're interested in, and then they will do like a random comment picker to choose who has the right to buy. So I have this one that just is all shades of pink and has that captive ring. It has, the, I love that it has the sparkly pink and uh, the mesh and the captive ring. It's just like a lot of things that I love. <laughs> This, I just love the muted, muted tones in it and love that um, kind of like sponge material in there. And then the cinnamon. Now these swirls of cinnamon that are in a number of these pens, it's actual cinnamon and the pens smell like cinnamon. I feel like that's maybe what Se Pluboator was most well known for at first. This is a bloom blank. This is one of my favorite pens in my collection. This is just amazing sea foam. I love the detail in it so much the colors this I think was one of my first cinnamon blanks from them I just thought that the colors were so fun in it I can smell the cinnamon like oh my gosh it smells so so good it has a little bit of texture to it as well these ones that have these elements in them definitely have a texture <laughs> here's this one I just love the effect of this one it's like flowers and, and the ocean uh, this is just bright pink cinnamon and pine cones I feel like they pour their blanks themselves as well, which is really neat. This one I thought was fun because it has three different captive rings. It's a hybrid. You guys know I love hybrids. It's an asymmetrical hybrid. Love it. Very shiny and lightweight. And then I have one of these rainbow mesh and cinnamon pens. I love the colors in this a lot. I have this, ooh, I have a hair. <laughs> I have this gorgeous beauty. This one almost gives me like creamsicle vibes because it's kind of got like the orange and the pink in it. And then this was an early pen that I had picked up from them. Pretty colors. 
This is one of those pens that I picked up because I was like, I have nothing like this in my collection. <laughs> I don't really own yellow pens. This one made me think of like buttered popcorn. <laughs> I thought surely I will have a kit that this will fit well with. And it's just so fun to have something totally different in my collection. This one is like, oh my gosh, like I've said before, I'm a sucker for muted pastels, but this is like, uh, I don't know, like a coffee creamy muted pastel pen. <laughs> I love the colors. This I thought was a really unique blank. I love the mesh and the silver glitter. And then we've got like the pink in the middle and the blue swirls on the end. I this is absolutely one of my favorite pens in my entire pen collection. There's a little bit of that like mesh in the middle, but then there's like this confetti string. I am obsessed with this pen. I like that it's kind of see-through, transparent. And then I thought I wanted to try one of their little mini pens. <laughs> These I have a hard time, to be honest, holding comfortably, but I thought this was so pretty with like the bloom effect in it. So these are all my pens from Say Plus Beau A Tour. Like I said, be sure to join their Facebook group, follow along with what they've got uh, going on there, and um, don't give up on <laughs> trying to snag one of these pens. Like I said, they sell crazy fast, but hopefully you'll have some luck in the Facebook group with their right to buy drops as well. I'm gonna shift these to the side. Let's take a look at the next collection. So I actually have a few different pen turner shops to share with you guys in this particular set. So over here, let's start with, these are all from Black Wolf Woodworks. I really, really adore so many of the pens that Black Wolf Woodworks creates. I feel like he pours most, if not all of the blanks. I adore this one. Um, I think this might've been one of the first ones I bought from him. The colors in this one perfectly matched the Mary's Diamonds Kit Illuminate that I worked on recently. Again, if you're noticing that like there's tips missing in a lot of these, it's because I I don't know why this one doesn't even have a single tip in it. Um, I think I just forgot to put it in after I bought it. I haven't used this one yet. This is new. Seashells. These are kind of difficult blanks to turn, but I, I really liked the effect of that one. Um, but I use metal multi-placers and I tend to just freely swap them between my pens. This one just remind me of the galaxy and I adore the asymmetrical, like there's bits of wood here. Oh my gosh, love it. Definitely Black Wolf Woodworks makes some of my favorite pens. This is really a special one. It's, uh, this is all wood, but then this is like an opal inlay. This is a little bit fancy of a pen. And then this one, which I just thought was so unique. Some of these you don't necessarily know like exactly which blank from the block you're going to get but I'm really okay with it because <laughs> they all turn out so beautifully. This one was uh, from a, a block that he poured for breast cancer awareness. Love the hints of gold in it. I'm trying to tilt it towards the light so you can see well. This is one of my absolute favorite pens in my entire collection. I say that a lot. I tried to narrow it down to like a top five, top 10. <laughs> it was really hard. I love the colors and the gold flakes. And then this one, of course, Harry Potter themed, Mischief Managed. My friend Jacqueline has a really similar one. This is like a wood burned. This is so lightweight. I just really love that. Now this next set of pens, these four here, these are from Butterfly Effect Wears. And I've more recently discovered them. I have the feeling that my collection from them is only going to grow. <laughs> this is the first one that I purchased from them. And it's got kind of a thicker captive ring. It's a hybrid. They have a couple of different turning shapes and sizes for their pens. Like some are large or chunky or mini or micro. <laughs> uh, these three pens from them are all from their Prismatic Pearl collection, which is quickly becoming one of my favorite ever. Look at the color shift in there. This was my first. And I thoroughly blame uh, my friends Jacqueline and Jamie for enabling me on those and then my friend Randy you can call me butter when I saw that she had multiple from the prismatic pearl collection I was like I need multiple because again look at how different these colors are from one another and then this is I think a mini size but it's very comfortable to hold and isn't too small and then finally, these last four here, these are all from Chroma Diamond Art. This is, this is you know, really all of these shops that you've seen so far, they sell out very quickly. So these pens tend to be, it seems a little bit longer, a little bit thicker. This is again, one of those Cocoon Liquid Art series, I believe. 
And then if you've watched my videos before, you've heard me say that like mint and pink is one of my favorite color combos. And so this having the aqua mint and the pink sparkly and then the honeycomb, loved it. This I thought was so unique. I like the color shifts in it a lot. I love the kind of textures in it. Again, these are a little bit thicker than some of my other pens, but they're very comfortable to hold. This is one of those insanely sparkly pens that really just, you can't do it justice. Look at all the colors. <laughs> Look at the sparkle. I love it. So again, these over here, this is Black Wolf Woodworks. These are Butterfly Effect Wears, and these are Chroma diamond painting pens. Let me shift these and let's get the next set out. All right, so I have a few different pen turners on display here for you guys. First up, these are from Pens by Maggie. This was one of those blanks that I just thought the colors are gorgeous and I don't have anything like it. It's a little bit transparent, but it has those different colors and mesh in them. I think this is my first from Pens by Maggie, and I used this with some of my Halloween kits. It just kind of gave me like spider web, spooky vibes. And then, can you tell that I have a bit of a type? This is another one of those um, pens that's been turned from a cocoon blank, the Liquid Art series. I love just kind of that like bright neon yellow and pink. This next set of pens, these are all from Madwood Turning in Slovenia. These pen blanks that they create are works of art, like, oh my gosh. And I feel like most of them are no two exactly the same. So pretty. This one I think was uh, Wedding Flowers. This was my first pen from them, and they actually, they had contacted me and asked if they could send me a pen or two to try out. And uh, this was one of the ones that they sent me. Look at that, a beautiful, delicate flower in there. I love the way that the wood on the inside there is like silver and sparkly. This was also sent to me for free with that. This is super, 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 super lightweight. Like, oh my gosh, like it weighs absolutely nothing. Entirely made of wood. So if you want a really light pen, there you go. <laughs> and then this one, again, their pens are works of art. I just was so enamored with this one. It just has the single tip to it. There's no spot for a multi-placer. But the way that this is designed, that makes perfect sense to me. And I feel like this pen is absolutely stunning. Again, with the kind of woods being sparkly on the inside as well. Love it. Uh, these next few pens, these are all from Laysen Lathe Works. Pretty pastels. I need to put tips in this pen. I don't know why this doesn't have tips in either end. I love the turning as well. And then this one, again, with kind of the mint. That's more of a blue, though. Uh, and pink. This is one of those ones that like you can't always tell just from the blank how it's going to turn out literally and figuratively. Uh, this is one of my first pens from Laysen and I adore this one. It's like a black bold abalone. My friend Jacqueline wants to steal this one very badly from me. <laughs> These two are from Stilos de Cabois, which I believe is also located in France. This one reminded me of a pineapple. <laughs> Love it. And of course, I fell in love with this and used this a lot over the holidays. It's a candy cane pen. Oh my gosh, I adore it so much. So much. These two are from Kevin's Creations. This one I couldn't resist. I grabbed this one so I could work on it for, or use it during drills and chills. And it's one of those that it's just, you know, you see the shapes from the side. And it was pink, and I thought, I've never seen a pen that has, like, leather on it or that extra kind of different fabric on it. So I thought that was just really unique. And those are from Kevin's Creations. And then these last two are from Custom Diamond Penning pa Painting Pens by TJ, which I believe are just on Facebook. This one reminded me of, like, a caramel iced coffee or something. So pretty. And this one actually just came in recently and I thought was so incredibly unique because it has this stone effect. It has a little bit of texture to it and then these colors in the middle. I have nothing like it. Gorgeous. So again, we've got, these are um, Pens by Maggie, Madwood Turning, SI or Slovenia, uh, Lace and Lathe Works, Stilos de Cabois, uh, Kevin's Creations, and TJ's Custom Diamond Painting Pens. 
let's grab the next set. All right, so here are a few more sets of pens from a few different turners. Over here, these three pens are from BFF Diamond Painting Pens. They have their own dedicated website. This one kind of made me think of like the ocean, stormy seas, driftwood. They list blanks and you can choose like the thickness that you want it turned. I think that these are the thickest, like this one and the next one I'm about to show you are the thickest turning they have. I like the bloom blank of this one. They often run sales as well, so be sure to check them out. A hybrid liquid art series, yes please. <laughs> these next pens are from Bella's Diamond Painting Pens. Can you tell, I really, I went through a phase where I was really into the ones with mesh. I still really do like them, but um, it was a bit of a problem. <laughs> I like kind of the really almost like psychedelic vibrant colors in this one. I'm trying to make sure the light catches these and does them justice. I really, really love this one a lot. I ac actually accidentally bought this blank twice from two different turners. I gave away the other, but that's how much I liked this particular blank. <laughs> I think this one was my first pen from Bella's. I just really liked all of the colors in it. And then I picked up this mini at one point that was a little bit of a mini version of um, a pen from a different turner, but this one has a bit more black in it. I like the opal abalone vibe. These next pens are from Donna, Donna Bass. Diamond painting pens, I believe on Facebook. Captive ring and a hybrid. <laughs> Love that. These are definitely a bit thicker. I think this was the first one I picked up from her. It has pastel Mickey heads in it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then this is actually a temperature color changing pen. I don't know if I'll get it to really do it, but the red turns to, yeah, it doesn't really want to do it will change colors to like yellow. It's a little cold here today <laughs> as you hold it. But I thought this one would be a really fun like Christmassy pen. I like the colors in it. Yeah, you can see a little bit of the yellow there. And then this one, this is a little bit of an impulse buy, but I thought this was so fun because it's kind of got, it definitely gives me Mardi Gras vibes. It's one of the lava pens. Now, what's really neat is that Donna, I think it's cold, so it doesn't want to <laughs> uh, shift as much. There we go. Uh, Donna Bass along with this next turner I'm about to show you, both came up with this concept at the same, about the same time, but they're really collaborative. And so they were communicating with each other about it. And when they launched this style of pen, they did it at the same time and with a really public announcement that was like, yes, this other turner, and they named the other turner, also is doing this style of pen at the same time. And we're launching them on the same day as a show of like, support for one another, like collabor like in this in the spirit of collaboration. So um, I have a couple of lava pens from these are from Pen Pal. <laughs> Diamond painting pen pal pens. And I like this this one has unicorn confetti in it. Now all these ones from Pen Pal that I have are the their roll stop style. So there's one edge here that's flat. They did come up with this, that they originated the concept. Um, so if you're working on an angled surface and you set your pen down, it's you don't have to worry about it rolling off of your table, even if you're not working on an angled surface, really. <laughs> I love this one for winter. I love the blanks that Pen Pal creates, but I love the colors in this. I can't resist a good seasonal pen. <clears throat> this one, Again, it's really similar to the last one, but less seasonal. I like the silver mesh in it. It just reminded me of Stormy Seas. This is probably one of my favorite pens in my collection. I adore the white sparkly honeycomb and then that amazing glitz in the middle, again with the roll stop. And then this is another favorite, to be honest with you, because it looks like dragon fire to me. I love it so much. It really does. That's that's one of the reasons I adore it. Is it just looks like dragon fire. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and grab the next batch of pens. But first, just to recap, these ones are from BFF Diamond Painting Pens. These are from Bella's. This is from Donna Bass. And this is Pen Pal. 
Now, this set of pens here, these are all pens that I actually just have the one pen from each of these respective pen turners. Now, that isn't to say that these pens aren't amazing and even some of my favorites in my collection. Um, it's just that a lot of these, I just have more recently discovered some of these shops or maybe the shop has gone on vacation or I've just plain forgotten to go back and check out these shops again. So please don't let the that deter you whatsoever from from visiting these fantastic pen turners. First up, I do have this pen that's from Custom Pens by Cheryl, and it's exactly what it sounds like. Cheryl was incredibly sweet to work with and actually custom poured and created this pen for me. I think that there might still be another blank or two from this block available at the moment, but uh, we talked through it. I went with a couple of different shades of pink, and then you guys have heard me say asymmetrical hybrid a million times in this video, but I wanted that asymmetrical hybrid wood effect, and so she created this blank and then turned it for me. This next pen is from Coover Coast Creations. I just thought this was so fun to have the different colors as stripes throughout. I don't remember what the name of this one is, but this is definitely a shop I need to go revisit again. This was actually a gift from my very sweet friend Laura over at Anxiety Art Adventures. This is from, I believe, Blue Dragon Art is the name of the shop. And I love how it's like a little bit transparent and the colors in it are really pretty. Laura is another uh, pen obsessed friend, <laughs> so I super appreciated that gift. This is an amazing pink dragon blank that's from O'Brien. Handmade pens from O'Brien, O'Brien Custom Turning. I'm so sorry I'm blanking on the exact name. Of course, I'll link them below. It's really, really, really shiny. This pen is actually pretty brand new. I just showed it in an unboxing recently. This is from Flower Girl. And not only does Flower Girl, uh, Kayla Cooper over there, and create amazing blanks that you've probably seen a variety of different pen turners turn, but she also turns some of them herself. And so this is a bit heavy, heavier weight pen. It's got this amazing opal inlay here on either end, and it really is a work of art. And after seeing Randy's collection of Flower Girl pens, I was like, I need to try out one of these for myself. Now I do have another pen on the way from this particular turner. This is from Enablers Outpost. Look at the flecks of gold in that, oh my gosh. Now, they're known for doing much thicker pens and um, they're really, I think, comfortable, especially if you struggle with any like joint pain or arthritis or anything. So, and they make some really beautiful blanks and are a really sweet couple as well. This is my Fancy Pants pen <laughs> that just obviously, well, maybe not obviously, very much gives me Tiffany vibes. Like it's absolutely Tiffany blue. This is from Swampwood products, which they, they're known, I think, best probably for creating blanks, but they do also turn pens. I love the elegant simplicity in this one. This is my first, but certainly not last pen from Poshy Pens. They're a recently discovered turner for me anyway. Um, and this is like a triple dyed wood and I love the colors in it. And the turning is just gorgeous. It's really lightweight. This is a pen from Monarch Designs YEG over on Etsy. The camera does not do the sparkle and glitz in this justice. This is so pretty. Love it, I should go check them out again. <laughs> and then finally, I, I need to check and see if this shop is still open. This is from Delis. Now I feel like Delis is one of those pen turners that has actually been around for a really long time. I need to go revisit her shop and see if it's still open. I think maybe it was on Facebook. I love the pink swirls in this one. So hooray, lots and lots of different styles and kinds of blanks and turnings represented here. So these are kind of my, like I said, my sprinkling of pens that I just have the one from that particular turner. Let me grab the, I think this the next one will be the last batch. <laughs> All right, so yes indeed, these are all from the same pen turner. This was the very first pen shop that I ever purchased from and uh, I really bought a lot from them because the quality was is really consistent. I started to say what snow is, they're still around. Um, and they have an absolutely incredible selection of diamond painting pen blanks to choose from. 
These are all from Jim's Handmade Pen Shop on Etsy. Like I said, this is the very first shop that I ever purchased from and have lots and lots of fond associations with it, actually. So I'm actually gonna start with the pens that were my very first diamond painting pen purchase. I believe that at least this one is from Swampwood, but I, I purchased one as a four bump and one as a three bump. I think Gems offers two, three, and four bumps. They're basic shapes, but very comfortable. Um, and I wanted to try one of each to see what I liked best. And the rest was history. <laughs> like I said, these are the first diamond painting pens that I had purchased from a pen turner. And I, I just, I never looked back. So these are my first two. <laughs> Let me try to go through all these with you guys. So I'll probably do two at a time just for sake of time. So this amazing gold flake, gold and copper and silver flake hybrid. And then of course a pink swirly hybrid. Like I said, his selection is really, really incredible. Um, and I still, I actually just placed an order with him recently. And so I'm excited to get, get that in. Of course I have pens on the way. I always have pens on the way. <laughs> this is my first bloom blank that I ever purchased. I love the colors and that it's a hybrid. I'll sparkle on that one. Here's a couple more. A lot of these blanks, like the more kind of basic ones like this, I believe are still available. So feel free to go check out the shop. But blanks that are a little more complex and hybrids like this one are likely, certainly not the exact same blank is going to be available. There may be similar styles, but um, it's, it's hard telling. Again, that honeycomb, look at that amazing purple swirl. And then this, this one, there's that amazing black sparkle in the middle there. I think it's going to be easier to do one at a time after all. This one was a Halloween, I believe, exclusive blank from Beartooth. Love the colors. A couple more bloom blanks here. And these are from the Flower Girl from Kayla Cooper, who does turn her own pens, but also sells blanks. I love the feathers. Again, you guys know I've said I love the mint and the, and the pink a lot. There's this blank, kind of like a nebula. I, it was this galaxy storm. What was the name of this one? Another bloom blank. I loved that this one had that amazing olive green wood at the bottom. Another hybrid. It's kind of that abalone in the middle. Love that. Go a little bit transparent with sparkle. This one just reminded me of like summer and sherbet. <laughs> Here's one of those amazing rainbow mesh hybrids. Love all the colors and then that purple sparkle. Here's another swamp wood blank that when Jim brought these back, I was like, okay, I need another one of these. I just bought this one relatively recently. This one is called like frozen. This is another one that just made me think of summer. I have nothing like it in my collection. I just love the bright, vibrant colors in it. Can't get enough of these balloon blanks. Look at how happy this one is. Pretty, pretty flowers. This was a pen that I bought, I think my first Christmas at Diamond Paint of Diamond Painting and used this with a lot of my holiday kits. Almost like a tinsel effect. And then just a basic white bloom hybrid. Oh my gosh, I love that. I wish I had time to dime. I wish I had the ability to diamond paint with like all of these pens <laughs> at once. So many gorgeous ones. Okay, this bloom blank is a favorite. Look at those shades of pink. Love, love, love. And then this is one of those like three shades of pink hybrid. The glitz in these is so pretty. This was a triple dyed hybrid, is easily one of my favorites as well. You know, what am I gonna say? Asymmetrical hybrid. <laughs> I love that this one has the abalone on both ends and then the pink sparkle in the middle. This I think I bought quite a while back, but I like the hybrid and the purple, that lavender and like silver sparkle. 
another pretty bloom blank. I love the delicate flowers in this one so much. So pretty. A uh, pink hybrid. <laughs> This is one of those you know I couldn't turn down. I like the effect of the wood, how it went from like dark to light, and then the pink in the middle. And then this was a pen that I had purchased, I think, specifically to use with the kit Dark Lilith. Color, or the, the camera just does not do the colors in this one justice. Love it. This is another one of those triple dyed hybrids. This one was in pink. I adore this pen. I just, I guess I really love those mixed, mixed textures a lot. <laughs> Another balloon blank hybrid, again with the pink and the aqua. Oh my gosh, this is one of those first, like, I don't know what you call this in the middle, but like their rainbow tinsel. It makes me think of like a unicorn hair. Look how pretty. This is definitely one of my favorites. <laughs> I know we're still missing a multi-placer. Um, gold flake hybrid. This is like the perfect neutral. I say that a lot that like, I feel like metallics are such a good neutral. Then I have another rainbow mesh. This one with just wood at the bottom for the hybrid. I wonder if Midwest will make any more of these. And then here's another unicorn hair one. This is one of the ones that Jacqueline had pointed out to me and I hadn't noticed till she said something. She has the same blank. This one did start to yellow a little bit. This started to, this had started out, I mean, I bought this almost two years ago probably, <clears throat> was clear and or more of a true white. So I wonder if that's something with the resin maybe. Still beautiful pen. This I bought uh, my first Halloween of diamond painting because I thought how perfect is this for Halloween, of course. <laughs> This I thought was just a super unique bloom blank because it's got like the leaves in it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this was a relatively more recent buy and I don't, it's funny, I don't remember these. That's glitter. Okay, I was going to say. That's a dark blue glitter. It almost looks like dirt, but it's not. It's, a, it's glitter. You can see when the light catches it. This just gave me pretty summer vibes. And then my last Jim's pen. This one. Doesn't this look like rainbow sorbet? I love it. So, like I said, Jim's Handmade Pen Shop has a really incredible selection. They still do. They're still open. Like I said, I actually just ordered a couple more pens from him this past week. But uh, be sure to go and check him out. While the turning styles are just a little bit more basic, they're still really incredibly comfortable to hold and you get an absolutely amazing selection as well. So that actually is it as far as the individual sets of diamond painting pens. I'm gonna try to get all of these pens out on the table for you and also give you some uh, counts of how many I have from each different turner in case you're curious. So. Give me a sec to get that set up. <laughs> and here we are. So if you were curious what almost two years worth of collecting diamond painting pens looks like, ta-da! Gentle reminder, this is not a place for judgment. We all love what we love. Collecting is as much a part of the hobby as the hobby itself. Let me give you a quick rundown of the stats because I have a feeling that you are dying to know. Well, I would guess that you're dying to know how many pens do I actually have? So to break it down, I have a total of 41 pens from Jim's Handmade Pen Shop. I have four pens from Chroma Diamond Painting Pens, three from Pens by Maggie, four from Butterfly Effect Wares, one from Monarch Designs YEG, 17 pens from Lazy River Wood Turning, 16 pens here from C'est Plus Boa Tour, um, nine pens down here from Black Wolf Woodworks, three pens from, where did I put them? Uh, BFF Diamond Painting Pens, four pens from Donna Bass, five pens from Bella's Diamond Painting Pens, six pens from Pen Pal Diamond Painting Pens, two from Custom Pens by TJ, two from Stilos du Cabois, three from Lace and Lathe Works, four from Madwood Turning in Slovenia, 
two from Kevin's Creations over here, and then one from Flower Girl, one from Enablers Outpost, one from Swampwood, one from Custom Pens by Cheryl, uh, one from Poshy Pens, one from Blue Dragon Art, one from Delis, one from O'Brien Custom Turning, and one from Cooper Coast Creations. Like I said, I'm going to link to all of these shops below as well as their respective social media platforms, at least the ones that I am personally aware of. But without further ado, the total number of diamond painting pens that are in this picture, 135. <laughs> and before you ask, yes, I do indeed have more on the way. So I suppose I'll have to do an updated pen stash video at some point. But I just have to extend the warmest thank you to all of the different blank creators and pen turners and all of like the small business family help that so many of these pen turners have. You guys, diamond painting would be a lot less colorful and enjoyable and comfortable a craft without your diamond painting pens. So thank you so much for pouring your heart and soul and time and hard work into creating such works of art for us to get to work with. Um, like I said, you guys, please go check out all of these pen turners. I hope that this video has not only given you lots of gorgeous diamond painting pens to look at, but hopefully also let you know about some diamond painting pen creators that maybe you hadn't heard of before. So um, go and check out their shops. Many of them are very popular and and sell out very quickly. So be prepared. That's kind of just the, the, the part of trying to snag some of these handcrafted items that are very popular. It's sometimes it's going to take more than one try. Be sure to follow their social media so you're able to stay up to date with when they're doing drops, previews of what's coming, and turn on post notifications. Do all the things to make it a little bit easier to get your hands on a beautiful diamond painting pen. So anyway, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope it was really fun to get to see my pen collection. I know I had lots of fun and I'm glad that you guys let me know this was something you were interested in. Let me know if there are other stash videos of my accessories or diamond paintings that you would be interested in seeing. I'm totally, totally open to it. So um, if you guys liked this video and had lots of fun alongside me, would you mind giving it a thumbs up before you head out? And if you're not already subscribed and wanna see lots more diamond painting content from me, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I share new videos. All right, friends, go ahead and leave below in the comments, by the way, if you have any pen turners that I didn't show here that you'd like for me to go and check out, I would always love to check out new pen turners. So feel free to share those below, send me an Instagram message or what have you. So, all right, friends, have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.